and welcome to That's Just Prime, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Alien Attack A01CCL SID, and this is Alien Attack's take on a masterpiece, Last Night Optimus Prime. This guy was released early in 2018, so he's available in online stores right now, as of the time of this recording, and he's retailing for approximately $100. Um, I picked this guy up from show.z or showzstore.com, and uh, I paid $105, shipped, and those guys, I want to be absolutely clear, show.z store has been amazing. I've never dealt with those guys before. This is my first time dealing with them, and they have been fantastic, great communication with them. Um, now, I want to say that right up front because now I want to talk about the toy itself, and I am very disappointed with this toy, with this figure. Um, this is something that I've been really looking forward to. When it started coming out, I saw some negative reviews on it, and I still held my hopes high. I got it anyway. I've checked it out. I've had it for a few weeks now, and and I am just now getting to the review on it, and there's, there's a reason for that. Um, this figure came broken out of the box. Um, this figure shows some incredible ideas in engineering. It does some really, really cool stuff. It has some really great ideas that are very poorly executed, uh, and the tolerances are terrible. The, like I said, the figure out of the box was broken. It was missing pieces. Um, the figure comes packed in robot mode. And real quick, let me just show the packaging so you can get kind of an idea what the robot's going to look like if you don't already. So this is the back of the packaging. Uh, the front just kind of has a picture right there with the uh, alien attack down here on the bottom right. Uh, it'll sit on the side there. And then on the, on the back, um, I kind of want to show you what the robot looks like. So just to get an idea, these uh, hip skirts and the shoulder panels, every single one of them was off. Um, you know, they just, they're on ball joints and they refuse to stay on. They're probably going to pop off during transformation. But out of the package, every single one of these was just floating around in the package. There are two more panels on the back uh, that really serve no purpose. They're just there for aesthetic purposes. I'll show you those uh, when we get to robot mode. Those were missing. And the uh, biggest problem, and we'll get back to the truck again, was that one of the knee plates get centered right back in here again so these uh these panels right here these are going to be the knee plates in robot mode this one this hinge right here was broken this thing was just floating around in the box and it was actually broken so and this is where show z store was really awesome um you know i took pictures of everything i circled everything that was broken or missing and they immediately prepare the package to send it to send me the replacement parts uh, because they're overseas it took a while so um, that's why I've had this figure as long as I've had and I'm just now getting to the review now that being said let's talk about the truck mode the truck mode is approximately nine inches long and about four and a half inches tall and it looks gorgeous this is an absolute beautiful truck mode the detailing is great you can see it's all blue with the red flames and it's got the silver um, paint striping on all the flames which really make the flames pop out they look really nice you've got some chrome detail on the roof here on the um on the grill all the wheels are chrome the step and the tanks are painted silver but it's nice it all looks really really nice you're probably noticing however a couple of things you can see like the all the wheels don't touch the ground if you look right there okay uh, and you're seeing probably that a lot of these panels don't seem to quite fit into place as they should. A lot of this stuff is popped out. And it's because they just won't tab in. You tab them in and they just tab themselves right out. And they refuse to stay in place. And when you try to tab them in, a lot of times, if you try to put too much force on this, other stuff will come undone. So they're just... It, it just will not stay together. The tolerances are not good. Now... Two of the biggest problems with this truck mode are th uh, the front wheels. Now, this is another tolerance issue. What the front wheels here do, there is a tab right there that's supposed to tab in there. Number one, that tab does not hold. As you probably saw, it just flops out. It just does not hold. Another issue here is that this is maybe hard to show. You'll notice that there's a hinge right here. This is for the wheel to rotate. 
for transformation, okay? So for truck mode, that wheel is supposed to be in the down position. However, there's nothing to hold it there. It just it just sits there with gravity. So the problem with that is that as soon as you put the truck's weight on it, it's going to shift around back and forth like this, and it keeps the wheel from rolling the way it should. You see that? So tolerance issues, again, there's two tolerance issues in the front wheels, which make this vehicle nigh impossible to try to roll. So that's that's a big, big problem. As you can see, the tabs here, they just won't hold. There's a flap here that is actually broken. This It's probably going to fall off. This broke after the fact, after I had already re uh, received the replacement pieces, just during normal transformation. Again, this is after me having this figure for weeks and practicing on this figure for weeks. And still, just a couple nights ago, I broke that hinge right there. Uh, this is a figure that you have to be super, super delicate with. And even after all of that, I still managed to break it. So again, tolerances, not good on this fi on this figure. And then finally, let me back up a little bit here. You'll probably notice as we're looking at the truck from the back straight on, you can see that this entire back side or back portion here is crooked at an angle where the left side is up higher than the right side. Um... I cannot figure out, again, weeks. I've been transforming this in for weeks, and every time I get that. And I cannot figure out why it is that this leg sticks up higher than this leg in this mode. Everything is transformed exactly the same on each side. I've counted the clicks. Everything is equal on both sides. And for some reason, I get an unequal or an uneven transformation on the back. So that makes it to where I got all my wheels rolling. Well, if this front wheel uh, decides to cooperate, you can see all my wheels are rolling here. But if we go to the other side, that back wheel, again, if the front wheels cooperate, that back wheel just won't, won't stay down. Um, there are some clicks on this wheel. You can bring this wheel up and down. Now, it is supposed to be up in this position. I can bring it down. There. So it just clicked down a bit, and that's meant for transformation. Now, if I do that, the back wheel now rolls, but the middle wheel is up in the air, uh, besides the fact that this wheel is actually supposed to be up there. So so there we are, and I just uh, unpegged the legs. So uh, I think I'm done with the truck mode there. Um, this one is absolutely, I'm transforming this one for the video and this will absolutely be the last time I ever transform this thing. Because I will say this about this figure. It's absolutely gorgeous. This kind of like with Masterpiece, where Masterpiece was just frustrating. At least Masterpiece wasn't breaking apart on me. Um, this makes a beautiful truck mode. If the truck mode assembled properly, this would be a beautiful truck mode. Um, the transformation is, it's, it's very complex. It's almost borderline uh, frustrating. Uh, I, and... Um, and then the truck, the or rather the robot mode that you end up with, breathtaking, gorgeous robot mode, and that's what this is going to be from now on. Uh, unfortunately, this is just going to be a display piece. Um, one final word on the level of transformation on this thing. After transforming this thing a few times, I went back to masterpiece movie Optimus Prime. Uh, look what you made me do, Internet. You made me go back, <laughs> transform him again. Look what you made me do, Internet. This actually felt kind of easy after dealing with this guy for a couple of nights in a row it was yeah it's it's a mess so all right let's move on uh i i don't like to make negative videos i really don't and i but but i also need to be honest with you guys and this has just not been a fun experience now el Cid came with uh besides the box he came with a couple of things he's got his um manual which is gorgeous this is beautiful look at this all these all these pictures on here everything is well um, illustrated uh, very nice picture uh, paper on here very thick this is a gorgeous gorgeous manual however it's not uh, um, it's not complete there's things well it is complete but there are parts of the transformation that are not included in the manual and there is also things about the weapon storage that are not included with the manual and then he also comes with a card because cards are popular now so um, this card is this almost feels like a fridge magnet it's that thick so, I guess that's nice. I'm not a fan of cards. Um, he's got his blaster. Very detailed, very nice. And I've had these little pieces here. They look like little pistons right here on the sides. I've had these pop off numerous times. So, that we may see that in the video. 
We got a sword. The sword is absolutely gorgeous. Look at the detail on that. Beautiful, beautiful sword. And then finally, we've got the shield. The shield is pretty cool. Now, the shield does come with this little piece that looks like a Lego piece. And what this does is this is going to peg into there. I'm not going to do it right now. I'll do this later in robot mode. And then that'll let us peg the shield into his arm. Uh, here for vehicle mode, there are two tabs right here on the back. And then there's two slots here on the back of the knee plates. And you'll be able to just tab those in right there just like that. This is the only weapon storage quote unquote weapon storage that you're going to get in vehicle mode uh there's no place to put the sword and there's no place to put the gun and then also the gun uh the sword does become a gun um how does he do that i forgot how to do it uh oh yeah that's right you take the sides and you pull on them and that's going to extend the barrel on the front as well so a little bit of um what what, what do they call that in the first movie the morphing or Anyway, the automorph, yeah, a little bit of automorph right there for you. So, uh, real quick for comparison, since I already showed him off, here he is with the, not the last night, this was the Age of Extinction um, movie leader class. So you can see what these guys look like together. There you go. There's a good shot. And then, uh, again, <laughs> you can see that wheel. It just won't hold. that back together and here he is one more time with movie masterpiece optimus prime look what you made me do internet <laughs> all righty let's get the transformation all right transformation we're gonna get started right here it's funny because the first step on the transformation is also going to be the last step that's actually kind of cool like i said there are very some very, very cool engineering ideas into this. Just the execution is not great. So we're going to take these smokestacks back here, pop these off, rotate them, swing them down. Uh, um, let's see. Let's go back here to these tanks, actually. Take these, snap them down, and rotate them down like this. These are on ball joints, very likely to pop off, more than likely will, just like that. So there's that. <laughs> One thing already popped off. All right. Uh, we've done that so that we can then unpop this tank here from there. And we're going to want to make sure that this tank can rotate forward and backwards. And that's going to allow us to take this entire panel here and swing it up. This is on an arm. And it's going to swing up like that. See that? There. So now we can work on this arm. You want this little tab out. And then here in the front, uh, rotate this. And I always forget if it's like this or like this. I think it's like this. There's a little arm right here. Pop this arm open. This is kind of like a lock arm. Pop this open. Swing this guy down on that bar. Bring it back in again. And now we're going to rotate these two hinges in. And this tab is going to go into that slot. As long as we've cleared that arm of course there's that and we're going to do the same thing on the other side there's that panel again <laughs> swing that up rotate that Snap that into place, bring the little arm out in the front, and leave those out for now. Let's see if I pop this guy back in, is it going to stay in, or is it going to continue popping off? More than likely, it's going to continue popping off. So. All righty, let's work on some legs. As you can see, these uh, the feet are already coming out, so you can go ahead and pull these out. These are supposed to be tabbed in on the side slot here. And into the side of the sleeper right there. They don't really hold all that well. You can, uh, if they haven't done so already, you can just unpeg the uh, the legs right here. And then, let's see, uh, there's a slider right here. We'll go ahead and push that in. You want to be delicate 
because these arms here, both of these uh, piston looking arms, these are die cast. So you want to be very careful. These are tight. So if you're pushing down on these or pulling on them, be careful because it's die cast. You can snap it. If you snap it, you're done. So take the uh, tail lights here, unsnap that. These are going to come out. You can take this knee plate and rotate it up and move it out of the way. There's a little panel right here that's going to swing over. Just move that out of the way. Take your wheels and push. Remember these, uh, this back wheel had a little clicker, so you're going to push that down like that. And the fender is also going to come down. And there's a very small tab. That's the tab where the fender goes in truck mode this top tab there and then there's a tab right below it that's the one you want for robot mode so you push the wheel and the fender down you bring this out rotate it bring it back in and this is going to come in right over uh, the wheel is going to go into that hole and then that tab again into the tail light there you can tab that in there bring the foot down the foot should tab into place bring the knee over there's two hinges here so you're going to want to now where the hinges were straight, now you're going to want to L-shape them in, and the back of the knee that has a slot is going to go into this tab here. And I am always super extra careful with this since I mine was broken out of the box. I want to be super extra careful. I don't want to break it again. I don't want to contact them and say, hey, it broke again. So there. And then the toe, you push down on the toe, and that's going to push out the heel, pull out the heel, turn it. Bring the foot down, and there's the bottom half of the foot done. So we're going to do the same thing on this side. So bring this guy over. Okay. And now I can bring the legs down. These tanks are going to slide up. You're going to bring, actually, uh, they're not, they're, they were up for truck mode. You're going to bring them down, but you want to make sure that you have enough room to bring these cables out. So bring these out. Then you can bring the tank back down again and just kind of tab it into place right there. And then there's a little tab right there in a the slot, and this cable is going to tab right in there, just like that. And then on the back side, finally, this panel that keeps popping off has a tab. And there's a slot underneath the tank and just tap that right in there. Once you get that tapped in, that should be the end of that panel falling off right there. So let's do that on this side also. Let's open this up, get this cable out, bring the tank down, tab the cable in place, come around the back, rotate that, swing it up, and tap that into place. And we're pretty much done. Now, the figure has an ab crunch. Uh, that really doesn't serve a whole lot of purpose, but it's very useful here in this part of the transformation. Back up a little bit. Because what I do, what I like to do here is, actually, I'm going to straighten my legs back one more time. And then I'm going to use that ab crunch to bring this entire thing down like this. Um, these shoulder pads might get in the way, so it wouldn't be a bad idea to go ahead and pop these out just to help you bring the whole ab crunch down. And that's going to help you bring down these panels. Especially these uh, front panels come down and then these side hip skirts, they're folded up. So this, let's see if we can even show this. So this needs to open up. It, you just rotate it, bring the whole thing down. And you can watch this piece right here is going to rotate down. And it was actually rotated. It's going to rotate sideways and then down. And then the side skirt is on a double hinge. So you can see that has a hinge there and a hinge there. So just straighten that one out. This one likes to pop off a lot, so let's see if we can get this one done. So bring that down to the side, rotates to the front, straighten out the hip skirt, and turn it. And I'll go ahead and bring my legs down now. There's the bottom half of the robot. Done. And uh, that actually didn't go that bad. And you can, you know, again, there's that app crunch right there. We're actually looking at the back of them right there. So that's what that is. All righty. These guys, bring these down to get them out of the way as much as possible the uh where do i start <laughs> i don't even know where to start anymore oh boy adjustments for the camera all right this entire sleeper cab is going to fold oh the entire 
top part of the sleeper cap. This is just going to fold up into a little square. It's kind of hard to describe if I'm going to be honest with you. So, okay, those are going to fold there. That's the one that's broken, so I'm going to be real careful with that one. Hopefully that'll stay in right there. This thing is super awkward to work with because it's on a hinge, only one single hinge, and it's on the side right there. That has also snapped off on me uh, once, so I'm being extra careful with it. So I'm going to bring this to the side. Little tiny panels everywhere, one in the corners there. And then these are going to come in. These are also tabbed in in the center up here. Gonna fold the, okay, yeah, that's going to fold in. The centers fold in. And then the top is just going to kind of hug the whole thing. And you can see the top piece. Something popped off. Or did it? No, it just... There it goes. <sighs> I told you guys. I mean, I, don't, I do not like making for, uh, negative reviews, but this guy has been so frustrating. Um, especially for something that I had really high hopes for, you know, it's just, it's just a shame that the figure turned out, turned out to be as crappy as it did. Cause I, I, I really did have high hopes for this thing. And, uh, this thing is very unclear on how to fold it up. Basically the whole thing's going to just fold up into a little box. All right, let me see if I can get this piece back in here, and then we'll continue. Okay, so there's there's the little box there. It's not the most cohesive little box, but that is the basic shape that you want to get out of it. So, And I went ahead and just stuffed that little broken piece in there on its slot, and that's where it's going to stay forevermore. <laughs> so let's continue with these panels. Um, go ahead and rotate the, the, and that thing is just going to sit there in the weight like that uh until you're done with it which is extremely frustrating uh get in the back here take the head rotate this out that's going to lock into place and this guy's going to come down and at least now it's going to be out of the way mostly there's a skirt here, there's a hip skirt set that to the side Okay, the front grill is going to pop in half, and then this is going to rotate upwards. Like that. And then you're going to want to make sure that this hinge is completely extended. And clear the sides of the hood. Alrighty, this guy has to rotate, so we're going to take this down, rotate it, and leave it there for now. Right? No, I was right. Yep, I was right like this. Okay, so leave that one there. Same thing on this side. Pop the grill, bring this whole thing up, and rotate the grill around. You'll notice this is kind of similar to the one that Studio Series uh, does. So, And just kind of leave those there for now. You can bring these down. These are going to be the arms. Just bring that down. And bring that down. I'm turning them at the elbow. And what I'm trying to do here is the following. So we're going to take these double hinges here on each side. Make sure they're extended all the way out. This chest piece in here that this torso piece is uh, connected to is going to slide out. Once it slides out all the way, these tabs are going to push in. If you've got it lined up right. There, that one did. This one is not sliding into place for some reason. There. All right, so both of those tabs now slid inwards locking this chest piece into place once that happens we now have the clearance to go ahead and take this box make sure that it's down here you take these little panels fold them outwards like so and we can now fold this inside of his chest cavity and we're done with that box forever <laughs> so there there's that okay so that closes up that's going to be a little more cohesive now and we can work on the chest here so we're going to bring these up 
Are we doing this yet? No, that's actually later. Let's uh, let's bring these wheels, flip them up, rotate them in, and then flip them back down again. And then you're going to rotate them so that the outside part of the tire is resting on the inside of the grill right there. That's going to rest flat right there. Do that on this side. And at this point, we're just kind of cleaning up kibli bits. That's really kind of what we're doing in preparation for the next and final step. So there's that, there's that. And then just kind of, yep, let those hang. Rotate these up and just kind of let them hang right there. All right, let's work on these arms. So this entire piece is going to come up like so. And I think, actually, you know what? We can go ahead and work on this now and then leave the arms for last. So when you bring these up, this chest piece or this uh, shoulder piece here is going to tab into that tab right there. And then the inside of the wheels, you see they're a little hollow. Those are going to go on this tab on this back panel here. That's going to go there. And I did have these backwards. So these are going to come around like so, and then bend downwards. And that slot's going to go into that tab right there. Bring these around. Bring the wheel up, tap these guys down. Alrighty, did I mention that this is a frustrating transformation? Because if I haven't said so, let me take this opportunity to say that now. I'm going to close the ab crunch. I'm going to bring these around, and then I'm going to make sure that this um, waste piece here is typically back like that for robot or for truck mode. So you want to make sure that this comes all the way forward there and these two pieces line up for robot mode. Now, it doesn't click in. So more than likely, it's going to slide back on you at some point where you're either finishing the transformation or whenever you are posing him. So you have to keep an eye on this because this will throw off the balance of the figure. Okay. Uh, here are those two back pieces that I was telling you about. These serve no purpose other than aesthetic purposes, and one of them was missing out of the box. So uh, make sure that these are still down. These are going to be the last thing we do. So now the arms are going to be frustrating. Uh, these are going to open. Let's see how we can show these off. So this chest piece is going to come up, and these are going to open. Rotate the arm around. And then this piece is up. The elbow is actually compressed like that. So take the elbow, elbow and extend it. Once you extend it out, it's going to clip into place. These can close. This panel is going to come in and tab into that slot there. Take this panel, move it out of the way. You can bring the elbow out. Sorry, the uh, wrist. Bring that out. This is actually going to be backwards. So this is going to be the front of the arm. And then this panel is going to come around, and this uh, panel does something really cool. It's going to unclip here, and it's going to hinge up and over onto itself, just like that. And there's a tab there that's going to go into the back of the forearm, right there. And there's his arm, one arm. Now we're going to do the same thing on this arm. So we're going to rotate this. Extend the elbow, lock it in place, push these in, bring this down, tab it into place. Move this panel out of the way. Turn the fist out. Collapse this panel. Up and over. That's going to tab into place. Rotate the forearm. We're almost done. Almost done. Alrighty, these are kind of awkward. So there's a tab right there. You'll notice that the mechanism for turning is actually here in the front, but there's this tab right here. It has to come under and tab upwards into this slot right here. Oh, is that now or is that later? I thought we did that later, I guess. Yeah, we're going to do that later. Oh, that's right. There's a pin here you have to push in for robot mode. So push those in, 
Now you can bring these in and tab them in there. As best you can, they are going to be awkward and they are not going to be easy. There you go. That snapped into place. Same thing on this side. All right. Now, this is going to be hard to see. The wheel well right here has a slot or a split right in the center. You're going to push up on that. That's going to bring these panels up, and it's actually going to make room for the inside of his bicep um, to lay a little more flat. So you can see the difference between there and there. See that? So we're going to push this up. It makes room for the arm. And then finally, let's just get everything straightened out and finished. Pop this guy back in. The last thing we're going to do is come around the back here. Well, also, when you pu uh, push these panels up, it revealed that little slot right there, and this little arm is going to snap in right there, securing the smokestacks on his back. And uh, that's it. That only took 20 minutes to transform. <laughs> the first time I transformed, this guy took me over an hour. I'll make sure that's all the way forward again. Okay, so I actually skipped an important part of the transformation here, uh, which is why I can't seem to get this guy to stand straight. So, And this part is scary so the legs down here you'll notice these little um loops right here these are snapped so they're snapped uh and they're snapped in there super hard so you have to pull up on this guy and it actually hurts your thumb to do it there once that snaps you're gonna rotate these down and straighten this out and then you're gonna push them up and again snap it into place which is super hard and that's actually going to give him a proper knee. Get that tab back into place. And do that same thing on this side. It almost feels like you have to break it when you do it. It's so hard and so scary to do. Especially with the knees that have already broken. And these little super soft pieces here. Okay. So once that's done, you're going to take these little panels here. And these are going to rotate around and down like that okay and now we have finally properly transformed Optimus Prime or Elsid into robot mode here in robot mode Elsid stands about 10 and a half inches tall at the top of the head and uh, 11 if you want to go to the back of the smokestacks and he's absolutely gorgeous that is one thing i will give you this figure is breathtakingly beautiful um for uh let's see what do we want to do first let's show off uh show off the details i, I guess the head does something really cool i don't even know how i want to show this off let's close in right there so the head is absolutely gorgeous. Very, very nice sculpt there on the head. And uh, you'll notice that he has the um, the shield. He does have the face shield. Now you can pop it open and rotate it around. Try to get around his little ear pieces here. And then bring that back down. And then you're going to have the no face or the no shield face right there. So there's that. And again, very well sculpted. Very, very nicely detailed head. It's beautiful. Go ahead and pop that back open again, turn it around, bring that back down, because I prefer my primes with their face shields, just like that. So that's really cool that it does that. Articulation-wise, his head is on a uh, hinge that allows him to look up and down, it's separate from this hinge right here. So you can see you can look up and down on that hinge, and then you can also turn side to side as far as the shoulder armor will allow. The... You have to be careful with these um, skirt pieces here, but you can you do have a ratchet on the shoulder there, so you can move the arms outwards, you can move them forwards and backwards. The forward and backwards is kind of uh, awkward on this guy. This tab suddenly does not like staying in place. I don't know why. All right, he does have a rotation at the elbow. He does have a bend at the elbow. The wrist can rotate, and the fingers are individually uh, articulated, so this one has a hinge in, in and out, plus a hinge on the knuckle. And then all the fingers have a hinge on the first knuckle. The last or the index has two hinges, one on each knuckle, and then the last three fingers are uh, all together. 
He does have waist articulation. You saw that earlier. He does have an ab crunch right there. The legs can go in and out, and they can go forwards and backwards. They do have a rotation right there at the top of the hip. They have a bend at the knee, and then the legs have a hinge side to side. And they also have another hinge for forward and backwards. So, again, not bad in the articulation department. Now let's look at a couple of the weapons. So again, we saw the weapons earlier. We saw the gun. Um, and he does have a slot inside of his hand where you can slot the weapons into. So you can do this with the gun. You can do this with the sword. So go ahead and pop that in there. I'm holding a sword, or his uh, gun rather. So there's that, so he can hold this. All, right, all of a sudden, because I'm trying to shoot a video, these tabs don't want to stay in place. I, that's the one thing I have not had problems with before. Suddenly, I'm having problems with it. So there's that. There's there's uh, El Cid with his gun. So you can see what that looks like. Uh, same thing with the sword. Go ahead and pop in the sword on this hand. So you can guys see. So you guys can see what that looks like. And that slot's pretty long, so you can do whatever you prefer. If you prefer to hold it that further down the, the handle or closer to the guard, you can do that. It's up to you. So there he is holding his sword as well. Now, the shield. We can do a couple of things with the shield. Again, we're going to need this little Lego piece now. So we're going to pop that in there. And then there's that little peg right there on the side of his arm. And this is so that you can peg in the shield right there. And again, you can pull these outwards, drop the shield, pull them outwards so it deploys the little gun, pop that in there one more time, and it does a pretty good job of holding there in place. So there's that. Now for weapon storage, another thing we can do, we'll go ahead and take these off, we'll leave them with the gun, and we're going to go around the back. This is kind of awkward, uh, there's really no explanation of this in the instructions, there's just a picture, and you just kind of have to do the best based on that picture so there's these two tabs here and you're going to take this peg and peg it into any one of those tabs and just kind of angle it and that's it that's his that's how he's hold this holds his shield in his uh, back and then you can take the sword and just slide it down the cable right down in there you can do it between the wheels whatever you feel is going to hold best just like that so that's going to be his weapon storage in robot mode i don't like what i did there let's there you go so that's how you're going to uh, store his uh, weapons in robot mode. And again, there's no storage for the, uh, the gun. He's just going to have to hold the gun in his hand. And again, tolerance issues. So there you go. All right, so there's El Cid with all of his weapons right there. Now let's do a few quick comparisons. So here he is with the leader class. Um... Not last night. I always get those uh, those titles mixed up. Uh, Age of Extinction, leader class mold, uh, consider considerably taller and way more detailed. I mean, there's no denying that this thing is absolutely beautiful. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous figure. Um, too bad that that's pretty much all it's going to do is <laughs> be gorgeous. So there's that one, and then here he is one more time with the movie masterpiece Optimus Prime. Look what you made me do, YouTube. Look what you made me do. <laughs> you made me transform this guy. You know what? It, perspective is such a funny thing. After dealing with this guy for the last few weeks, this actually does not feel bad. Um, I transformed this thing in just a few minutes. I didn't have any issues with it. I, you know, I've, I've learned the transformation pretty good on it. And I don't feel that this is as bad as I originally said in its review now that I've been dealing with this guy. So perspective is funny. But here he is, uh, or here they are, the two masterpiece movie figures. And they look fantastic together. They look absolutely great. So this is actually going to look really, really nice on the shelf. So, um, yeah, I was thinking about maybe doing both of them for the shop, but nah. Let's just, this is your video. And uh, you do have a gorgeous robot mode. So let's give you the proper send-off. So let's do something here. I want to I wanna give him a nice pose for the send-off. Uh, I've said enough negative things about it. Um, I cannot honestly recommend this figure not for a hundred dollars again you know it's the same complaints that i have with masterpiece you know if you're going to spend a hundred dollars on a figure the figure should work 
Um, and for a hundred dollars, you know, when I was getting this, I was thinking, okay, I was, I'm going to get into kind of the same thing. It's a masterpiece. It's going to be a hundred bucks. Uh, but it's been just such a frustrating and disappointing endeavor. Um, this whole thing has. So now, um, you know, if I knew then what I know now, I don't think that I would spend a hundred dollars on this figure as gorgeous as this is, because this is again, looking at this now like that. You can't deny this is an absolutely gorgeous figure. It's breathtaking. It's beautiful. This thing looks fantastic on the shelf. But again, $100 and it doesn't work. The engineering ideas in this are great. It does some really interesting, smart, and innovative, innovative things. Um, but they're not well executed. The tolerances are terrible. And... Uh, it just gives you a figure that does not transform well. Pieces don't hold into place in a truck mode that does not work. So, no, not worth $100, I don't think. Again, Show Z Store, they were awesome. Um, they they um, attended to me as soon as uh, I got it, and I showed them pictures of all the issues that I had. They were like, dude, no problem. We're sorry that happened to you. Here's the replacement parts. They took pictures of the parts that they were going to send me to make sure that I was getting the right thing before they even sent them to me. They kept me informed. They kept me, they gave me track numbers. Those guys were awesome. Big props to Show Z or show, yeah, show.z or showshistore.com. That Z is in Z, uh, um, Zebra, Zulu, Zeta, <laughs> Zed. Um, so those guys have been awesome. Alien Attack, however, I'm disappointed in this product. So I think that about covers Alien Attack A01CC El Cid. What did you think of this figure, and what would you like to see me review next? Let me know by leaving me a comment, give me some thumbs up, subscribe and share with your friends if you like what you see, and I'll talk to you next time on That's Just Prime.